Do you own a Hot Tone Ampero? Have you figured out the looper yet? If not, stay tuned because the next few minutes I'm going to show you what it's all about. Hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the looper that's built into the Hot Tone Ampero. It's a really cool feature that's really not discussed all that often, and I'm not quite sure why, but I keep getting questions about how to use it, how it works, all that good stuff, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to do a video about the looper. Let's get to it. Before we get started, a quick sidebar. One thing that I can definitely recommend you do, in fact, I should insist that you do this before you really start digging into the looper, is get yourself one of these, the Ampero Switch. This is a vital component to really bring out all of the in-depth features of the looper. It's gonna make your experience all the more better, and it doesn't cost a whole lot, and it also doesn't weigh a lot either. This is light, this is, this is light as a feather. And I think you're gonna really dig having this in your Ampero One or Ampero setup, because it works with either of them. And it'll give you two additional foot switches. We have them in stock, definitely pick one up. Now, let's get to the demo. All right, so we're looking down at the Ampero, and as you can see, I have the Ampero foot switch all uh, connected up and ready to go. So let's zoom in even closer here, because what we need to do first is we need to set up the foot switch to work with the Ampero. And the way we do that is by going to the global settings here in the upper right corner, selecting expression pedal two slash foot switch. And then what we can do is set up what mode and what the two foot switches will do. So what we want to do is set it to a dual foot switch because this is a dual foot switch uh, pedal. And then we can set up which destination we want to set the two pedal, the two uh, buttons to. So the first foot switch, I'm going to set it to looper. Uh, it's already set there. And what that means is when I press that foot switch, the looper will automatically uh, turn on. Uh, it'll actually, it'll automatically switch over to looper mode. Okay. Now, secondarily, foot switch six or the, the second foot switch can be anything you really want it to be. So it can be uh, the drum off and on, um, whatever you know, different functionality you want. So what we might do is we might set it up for the record and play functionality. So once that's done, go ahead and back to the main screen. And let's zoom out a little bit. So now if I use the foot switch here on the left, you can now see that I can toggle between the looper and the main screen. Now, why is that important? Well, quite simply put, if you want to access the looper from the Ampero and you didn't have the Ampero foot switch, um, this is what you'd have to do. You'd have to hold down these two buttons to make that happen. Why go through all of that when you can just simply use a single button? Isn't that easy? It's so, so easy. It's fantastic. Okay, so um, that is how you set it up. Now let's dig into the looper itself. But before we start actually looping, let's just take a quick tour of the interface so you can get familiarized with it. By the way, the looper records up to 100 seconds of loop time, so that's plenty to work with. Play button, record button, uh, timeline, you have a half speed function, a reverse function, a uh, drum machine, and the ability to sync the drum machine with the looper. You have a preset, uh, you have the ability to toggle between all of the presets in the Ampero. At the bottom, you've got three knobs that handle uh, three main, the main, three main functions of the looper, including record level, whether it's going to be pre or post, and the uh, loop level itself. If we toggle over to the right, this is where you set up how the four foot switches that come on the Ampero will work with the looper itself. Um, so looking at this closely, we can see that it's set, the first foot switch is set up to half speed. So we can change that to reverse if we want to. The second foot switch is set up to half speed, so we'll keep it as is. The third foot switch is set to drum record in place. So this is if you're going to use the drum machine along with the looper. Now when we get started, and for the first time, we're not going to do that. So let's just set it to record in play. And then if we toggle to the right, we now have the ability to change how it's going to stop and clear. So we're going to change it from drum stop and clear to just simply stop and clear. And once that's done, we're now ready to go ahead and actually start using the looper. All right, I've got my guitar plugged in and we're ready to go. So let's switch over to the recorder, or the looper I should say, and let's use the B foot switch to record our first loop in. All 
All right, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, right? Okay, so from this point, if we want to stop the looper, we can use the control foot switch and that'll stop it. Or we can use the B button to go ahead and start it up again. And that creates a really good dedicated stop and start system, which a lot of loopers don't have unless you set it up that way, or some of them don't even have it at all. So having some of most of them, like the small ones, only have that one foot switch to stop and start. And so doing it this way makes it so much easier. Um, now, let's uh, mess around with this a little bit. If we want to overdub, we can also use the, the uh, B button to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, record a quick overdub. Punch out. There we go. And now it's going to play the overdub back. Now, if you want to change the level of the recording before you do it, you can use the uh, record level knob to make that happen. Now, one of the other great things about working with uh, the Ampero here, as far as the switch goes, is that you've got that pre and post uh, mode. Now, pre mode puts it at the beginning of the signal chain so that you can actually change the sound as it's playing back. So you can sit, put the same loop through different presets, like that. Or like that. Obviously, some some of them will sound better than others, um, but it's just a matter of experimenting a little bit with it. Uh, however, it's a very useful feature because when you're recording in pre mode, it's recording a mono signal that you can then send through the various effects of the Ampero. In post mode, what happens is it records a stereo signal going whatever's going through the signal chain. And incidentally, that also cuts your record time in half. So instead of having 100 seconds, you now have 50 seconds. So something to keep in mind. Um, now, if you want to clear the loop, all you have to do is press and hold the control foot switch, and that will clear the looper. So at that point now, we can record another loop, and let's play with a couple of more of the controls. All right, so we've gone ahead now and re-recorded in a loop. Uh, now we're gonna have some fun with the effects. Now I have a reverse and I have a half speed. So I can go ahead and activate the reverse and get something that sounds like that. Now what I can also do is I can record another part while the reverse is playing back and when I go back into standard play, it'll do it on the flip side. Now one thing I'm going to suggest before you do this, it's a very common trick by the way, uh, is I'm going to say turn that record level down so that what you're going to record isn't as loud as what was previously recorded so that it layers nicely from a volume perspective. So I'm going to wait for it to recycle and then I'm going to go ahead and record uh, an overdub. Here we go. Now it sounds like it just did, right? Well, listen for it. Isn't that cool? And it also translates because it's in pre-mode, so you can go to a different preset if you want to. So it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Now we also have a half speed as well. And the same rules apply here. So I could record an overdub while it's playing at half speed. And then when I go back to standard speed, it's gonna speed up that overdub. So it sounds like Mickey Mouse is playing. So again, you wanna make sure that you uh, turn the record level down so that it's not so blaringly loud. So uh, let me wait for it to recycle and then let's go ahead and record an overdub. Punch out. And now let's go ahead and hit that half speed again. Now that's a lot of fun. I mean, it's just, you can just layer on top of a layer on top of a layer on top of a layer. You just really need to practice it out first so that you know what you're doing because, as I said before, there is no peeling back like there are with like the really expensive loopers then this is not an expensive looper this is more of like an afterthought inside of the Ampero in some ways but again 
a lot of the things that uh, people have been asking for, I think they're going to address in future uh, firmware updates. So, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Now, here's another thing you can do. I've set up the third foot switch to be an effects foot switch. So that means that if I, uh, let's turn that back up, press it once, it's going to turn to the uh, half speed, press it again, turns it off. If I press and hold, I can toggle over to reverse. Um, now if I press again, it'll turn on the reverse and the half speed at once. So, you know, this is one of those moments where, you know, smoke them if you got them. But uh, you can then press and hold again and go right back to the beginning. Okay, well that just about does it for this video. Uh, I hope you found this informative. If you have any further questions, use the comment section and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks so much. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.